Okay, obviously you're watching this video because you have a stink bug problem. I'm going to show you how to make a very, very effective stink bug trap for less than $7 that you can make at home. If in fact you want one to be made and sent to you that's going to look better than what you're going to see, you can call the number on the screen, 412-821-1000, that's JR Productions in Pittsburgh, and for $25 we will send you one with a complete video instruction list on where to put it, how to use it, and how to get rid of the stink bugs once you catch them. Okay, first of all, this is all you're gonna need. You're gonna need a razor blade, electrical tape, okay, and you're gonna need this Sylvania light. Okay, I, I found it's probably the best one to use. Um, they're available at Home Depot. It's called a dotted silver LED and they sell for $5.97, batteries included. It takes um, AAA batteries, which you might need more of into the future, uh, depending on what kind of a bug festation problem that you have. You're gonna need some, um, some uh, masking tape and uh, basically a Sharpie or a blunt object to turn the light on once it gets inside the trap because the stink bugs are attracted to light. Okay, first thing you gotta do is, I find the Pepsi bottle works best. Um, there's a whole bunch of them out there. Try to stay away from the ones that have the skinny um, waist and stuff like that. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is um, obviously drink the Pepsi in there and then you're gonna want to uh, clean it out real good, shake it so you get all the uh, Pepsi residue out of there um, so the stink bugs won't have a whole lot of stuff to climb on once they get caught down inside there. Don't take the label off yet. What, you, what you're going to do, you're gonna, this is your guideline. The top of the label here is your guideline to cut, okay? So the very first thing you're going to do, you're going to take a razor blade and you're going to puncture and you're going to try to make a clean cut, go slow, all the way around following the line of the label. That's your guideline, okay? Doesn't have to be exact, but it has to be close. Try to use a razor blade, not anything like scissors. You don't want jagged edges up here. Okay, once you've cut all the way around the, uh, the top of the label using your guideline, take the top off because that is now gonna be used as your funnel. Now, it's time to take off the label. You can take the razor blade and slightly score the label and it will come right off. Just real quick here, this is what your stink bug uh, trap is going to look like. Your LED is going to be placed down inside there. Your funnel, which is the top of the Pepsi bottle, is going to be placed like here. It's going to make a really nice seal at the, at the top. Okay, That is your basic frame for catching these stink bugs. Now the next thing you want to do, okay, just take that off of there. So what you're doing now is you're going to take the electrical tape and you're going to start at the, the bottom where the um, label used to be going around and you're going to wrap the tape all the way around till it's all black. Okay, and what this does by putting, blocking the bottom of it out is you're going to have a light in here. Again, the stink bugs are attracted to light because you're going to have this thing either up in the attic or sitting on the ground or, you know, whatever it is, whatever room you decide to put it in. So when these little bugs, these stink bugs, they see this light, they're going to be very much attracted to it. Okay, if they come, they're going to go for the light, and they come and they get close to it, because I've watched these guys. When they get close, if they can see the light, basically they'll like to stay around the bottom and sit around and kind of like watch the show, whatever may be going on in their little minds. Okay, so that's why you want to block this out. What you want to do, the next step is to take the funnel, okay, put the funnel right on top, okay, and now your trap's starting to come alive. And if you can see the light in there, it just rests on the bottom, okay. That's, that's all you have to do. The next part is trying to make it easy for the guys because I want them to get trapped. So the next thing, what I decided that I was going to do, because I want them to get 
in my when I first tested this, I thought I'm going to make it easy for them once I observed them and see, you know, what they really want to do, which is get to the light. I'm going to make it easy for them to get there, and I'm going to take this um, this tape and I'm going to use this as a ladder. Okay, <laughs> and I'm going to put the ladder at the very top here for them, and I'm just going to bend it over just a little bit, and I'm going to take it straight down, okay, just like that. So these little guys now, they have a ladder to get, they can hold on to this a lot easier than they can to the plastic, so they can get up here pretty fast to get to the light to see the show. Okay, moving forward here, I've uh, put up four ladders, or four pieces of masking tape to allow them easy access to crawl up as fast as these little guys can. And the thing is, once they crawl up, okay, and they get over the edge here, they fall. They fall right down inside. They go through the funnel and right to the light, which is where, the th where they want to be at that point. Because they like the light and they're going to be in there and it's going to be nice and toasty. Now, this is where Okay, because you pretty much sealed it, not all the way around, you don't have to, okay? I just sealed it like in four places here where they can, with the, uh, with, with the masking tape, because everything else seats really good. The plastic against plastic seats well, and it's not going to let these little critters out of here. They're going to try to climb up here, as you will see, we'll demonstrate in a little bit. They're going to get on this, on this, the inside of this plastic, they're going to try to climb up here. And once they get to the top, the margin in there is so thin, they can't turn around. In other words, they can't turn around and attach themselves to the funnel. Because what, they're, what they want to do once they decide that the show is over and they want to get out, they're going to try to come up here and they're going to get in a very tight situation and they're going to try to turn around, attach themselves to the funnel so they can walk down the funnel, okay, to the opening and try to get out. But they're not going to be able to because they don't have the room to turn around. Now, I spent a few hours watching a whole bunch of them in here that I caught in my daughter's room and one of them did manage to get himself turned around onto the, to the funnel, okay, but he did it with a friend. He managed to hold on to a friend, friend, call it a friend, what do I call it a friend, call it the little terrorist buddy, his little terrorist buddy of his, uh, just managed to hold on to it, turn himself around, grab a hold of the funnel town, down, but when he got it, he made himself all the way down, but when he got a hold of the opening, he couldn't, for some reason, he couldn't um, negotiate or whatever, a way to get up it out of the hole. It, you, had, you had to see it, but you will see it because I guarantee you this is going to work and you're going to love it and it's going to catch your stink bugs. I'm going to get some stink bugs, put them in here, and we're going to show you how it works. So I got, ooh, boy, that smells in there. I got, uh, got a couple of them still alive, some dead ones. I got some dead ones here that I took out to try to demonstrate. These guys, these guys, all these guys died. Remember, I told you they came out of my daughter's bedroom all in one night. So, oops. Here we go. All right. I got a bunch of live ones coming out. There you can see them crawling around. Watch this. Oops, get off me. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Look at that. They just fall right in. Oops, where'd that guy go? All right. These guys are getting grips, but there they go. Once they go over the edge, they're going to go down towards the light. Okay, I got a couple more here from the old prototype. Crawling around, going to let them go down the hole. That's it. Okay, there you can see the little guys. They're right here. And we turn around over here. The partners, they're trying to get up to the top. They can't, they can't get up. They're getting into a very tight space. That's the reason they can't turn around, get onto the funnel, and crawl back down and try to get out. One question uh, comes up all the time. The people I've told this to is... Uh, Geez, what do we do with it when it's full? You can put a small plastic bag or a large plastic bag around the whole thing and tie it extremely tight. Okay, within a few hours, all these guys are going to die. They're going to suffocate. 
So at that point, you can just open it up, pull the top, peel the tape, tape back a little bit, pull the funnel out, pull your light out, and just dump them in the commode and flush and bye-bye, they're gone. Okay, again, if you want to make this at home, it's very easy to do. Just follow the instructions. Uh, it'll cost you less than uh, $7 to make this, and I guarantee you, you'll be very happy with the results of uh, catching these and trapping these uh, stink bugs. The other thing is, if you don't want to deal with it, at JR Productions, we'll be glad to uh, put one together for you uh, for $25 and send it out to you. It includes uh, shipping. Uh, but let's face it, they're going to be here for a while, and uh, the bugs that you uh, saw in this video right now, uh, they are remnants of uh, last year's attack in September, and they're going to be wild and crazy again this September, and they're going to be bigger and more pestier. Again, there's the number at the bottom, 412-821-1000 JR Productions. We take checks and credit cards. Visa and MasterCard. Hope this has been some help, and I hope you uh, uh, can have some satisfaction knowing that there is something right now that is out there and available that you can make at home that actually works and traps these stink bugs.